Uh, this morning, <laughs> there is a new development in a high-profile serial murder case. Police are investigating whether a man in custody on a weapons charge has a connection to the series of shocking killings in Alexandria, Virginia. His resemblance to the man police are looking for is uncanny. Take a look at this. And ABC's Lindsay Janice is here with the details. They really do look alike in these sketches, Lindsay. They really do. Good morning, Biana. These murders happened inside people's homes, and the residents of Alexandria are hoping that authorities have their man. But police are stressing this is still an ongoing investigation, and people should continue to be aware of their personal safety. Alexandria police tell ABC News while investigating the three brutal murders haunting the suburban D.C. community, anonymous tips led them to this man. Charles Severance, a convicted felon. Severance was arrested Friday in West Virginia for weapons violations. Investigators are trying to put together the pieces of the puzzle to see if they can actually directly tie Mr. Severance in to the murder of one of these three individuals. In a news release, Alexandria police stressed it is premature to name him as the only possible suspect. But many here in this D.C. suburb are pointing out that Severance's booking photo bears a striking resemblance to this sketch of the man responsible for the shooting death of local piano teacher Ruth Ann Lodato. In February, Lodato was gunned down after opening her door to a strange man. Her caretaker was also shot but survived. The caretaker may end up being a direct eyewitness to this case. In fact, it was the caretaker's description that helped police create this sketch. In a February news conference, Alexandria police linked Lodato's murder to the November slaying of Ron Kirby, a local transportation official, and the 2003 killing of a police chief's wife, Nancy Dunning. The similarities and unusual nature of all three shootings occurring in Alexandria require the police department to consider the possibility that all the cases are linked together. Everybody's talking about it. I mean, that's the only thing that it's really affected everybody. And, but nobody knows the facts. Well, here are the reasons police think that the murders are connected. The victims were all involved in the community. All were shot in their homes during the day and within two miles of each other. Finally, the bullets used in all three murders are similar. Dan and Bianna, oh, wow. the man that they have in custody, Severance, uh, one interesting thing about him, he ran for mayor twice in this oh, community, wow. so he's known to the community. Well, if this, in fact, is closure, at least the residents there can sleep a little better tonight. But again, police stressing still they still know. have not connected him. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Thanks, thank you. I'm 11% happier drinking out of this mug now. <laughs>